Hello guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix uh, an error which you get while trying to install a backdated version of NetFrame. Uh, basically when you press on the windows button, uh, type in features, this is what happens. So you try to install a dot, uh, NetFrame uh, 3.5 but you get an error which states uh, that uh, the changes couldn't be completed so and this is the error code that you get so i'm going to show you how to uh, fix this issue it's quite simple really first step is that is that you you'll need to get a get a, an uh, iso file for the windows that you have for example windows 11 10 or 8 whichever windows you're using uh what you want to do is type in uh, the windows uh, that you you want to download the iso file for for example, I, I want to download Windows 11 uh, ISO file. You, the easiest way would be to choose the second option because I, I, I know some of you might have tried the third option, download, download the image file directly, but it's quite slow. This would be a better option. Uh, you'd want to download this and install it, which I have already done on my PC. So once you have installed it, you would want to uh, open it and create uh, an ISO file with, on your current um, Windows. So open uh, the file that you have downloaded. Uh, just press accept uh, Choose the windows you want to create the ISO file for for example, I've already just, just select this option which would uh, Create the recommended ISO file for you press next and over here you should press ISO file press next and then uh, save it wherever you want to have it saved uh, which i have already done i won't do it again this was just a step-by-step -step process for you to get to this point as you can see i have already created an iso file from um, from that software from here you would want to press on the file and uh, on top you can see the uh, button mount just press on it it will mount on your computer right so from there okay from there you would want to uh, go to step 4 I've done steps 1, to, one, two and 3 open up a PowerShell press Windows button and X uh, the letter X you would see terminal admin uh, accept it or press yes and then type in these two um, type in these two uh, functions I'll just copy and paste this okay so right now it's trying to activate uh, the dot uh, net frame 3.5 on my computer Okay, once that's done, uh, copy and paste the last function, which will let you know that uh, dot net frame 3.5 is installed on your PC. As you can see on the screen, uh, net FX3 is installed. Uh, so that should fix the issue. You can search in search features on your computer again. Uh, turn on windows features on and off press that and press ok and there you go the issue has been resolved okay okay guys i hope this video was helpful in what you're looking for please give it a like and subscribe thank you